Good evening. I'm uh, Irene Presti, and I'm a member of Willits Point United, and I'm here to oppose the funding and the certification of the NYMTC for the gross negligence and uh, not diligently and carefully considering each proposed project prior to including it in the Transportation Improvement Program list. The TIP projects projects must be consistent with the Regional Transportation Plan, which provides for, and I quote, moving people and goods safely and efficiently, among other goals. The proposed Van Wick Ramp Project, X770.44, which Willits Point United strongly opposes, is inconsistent with the objectives of the Regional Transportation Plan. The city's own traffic consultant has stated that there are significant adverse local traffic impacts were identified in the Fijis document. There has been testimony here by an expert and credentialed witness, Mr. Brian Ketchum, and other people, to the opposition of this project. The New York State Department of Transportation's Project Development Manual also requires that an acceptable project cannot have a significant adverse impact on the safety and operation of the interstate facility. The project also fails to comply with other PDM requirements, including special geometries, safety considerations, and traffic considerations. These failures are inconsistent with the goals of the Regional Transportation Plan and make the ramp project ineligible for the TIP. But incredibly, the MTC approved adding the ramp project to the TIP despite its failure to comply with the PDM and the RTC. In conclusion, the RAM project is inconsistent with the Regional Transportation Plan. MTC's rubber stamp decision to amend the TIP to include the RAM project is a very serious error that harms the people of Queens and everyone who relies on the affected roadways. MTC's blatant disregard for the requirements of the Regional Transportation Plan is also a failure to comply with United States Code Title 23, Section 134. Therefore, with all due respect, you are not entitled to certify that MTC has complied with the law, and I am requesting that you do not certify. In addition, I am requesting that the Secretary of Transportation punish MTC's failure to comply with the law, as he is entitled to do, by withholding the maximum 20% of funding from transportation projects in this area. Let us hope that all of the transportation agencies will learn from this that they will not avoid their responsibility to carefully evaluate and weed out inappropriate projects that threaten our communities. There is no place for any rubber stamp here. I call upon the MTC to restore integrity to the TIP by eliminating Project X770.44 from it. Until it does so, MTC must remain uncertified and 20% of funding should be withheld from transportation projects here. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on this very important matter.